listening. My name is Genevieve, and I can talk to you a little bit about creating on Roblox. So the first thing I want to ask, and I have a bunch of stuff behind, so just you guys know, is what is Roblox? And I want you guys, uh, my little classroom here, to answer this for me. Who's got an answer? Like, they say, what is Roblox in your opinion? Go ahead and tell me. Oh, um, Roblox is a game where there's like characters and there's going to be like hobbies and fun things to do. And um, kids, they can always add more games into Roblox. So it's a, it's a, so it's a good place for gamers and for coders. All right. Anyone want to add something to that? Yes, I want to do. Uh, Roblox is just like Minecraft, but it is way more better. Means I like it more than Minecraft. Well, we appreciate that. I also like Minecraft, you know? You can like multiple yes. different, you know, for your experiences. But I uh, most likely like, uh, like Roblox. Oh, thank you. Okay, and Ria? Um, so I think that it's like kind of a platform where people can also make games. They don't have to just play them. You can also make games. Um, and it also has like a lot of stuff that a lot of games don't like you can add friends and chat and stuff yeah so all of these things that you guys have said really are what roblox is and more so roblox is a global platform meaning it's all across the world and every day people are coming together and they're like going to imagine you know they're going to like role play and they're going to take on different characters they're going to create they can share their own experiences and they can share those experiences out with their friends so we saw a Roblox game earlier. So you, you know, whoever made that, they can actually just share it and like anyone in the world can play it. And that's just such a cool thing. So here, this is a bunch of different instances of Roblox Studio. So these are some of the worlds that I've worked on or um, some of my friends have worked on. So like this is one you guys might be familiar with. So me and a team of just like a couple other people really, we worked on this together all at the same time. You know, and we had an artist, who made us the assets. We had our friend Laker who helped like make the code, uh, you know, and then I actually got to build the environment and everything like that. So that's one type of game. So we have another one, or this, this is a library. So I kind of want to show you guys, like there's lots of different, you know, worlds that you can build. So this is a nice quiet library you can come in. And then this is kind of like where I think a lot of people start is like, you guys know what this is called? Want to tell me what, like, what type of game is this? Obby. Yeah, it's an obby. So a lot of times, this is the first world a person will make. This is actually my very, very first Roblox world that I ever made. Like, this is it. It's not very impressive. Every single person in this phone call or on Zoom here can make this. You guys can do better than this. Like, you, your games, like, you guys are looking like, I'm not impressed. This is, yeah. You know, was your game better than this? I you know, so. my first game was also Obby. Yeah, so it's a great place to start because you can kind of just learn about working with 3D shapes. You learn how to work in a 3D world. And that's something that lots of different programs have you do. Like maybe if you want to be an architect, you've got to start looking about, you know, working in 3D space or if you want to make movies or something like that or be an animator. But this is a very common place for people to start. And I'm actually going to show a little bit about how that's done. So give me a second. So I'm actually going to make a new world. So all of the places we just saw, they all start looking like pretty much like this, like, you know, big blue world. This is how you guys started off just like, you know, and it's just like a big blank canvas for whatever you can imagine. So if I want to make an obby, which is the game that we just saw that sort of platformer, so the first thing I'm gonna do so I can have a great big empty world is I'm gonna delete this base plate. I'm gonna go pretty quickly because I just wanna give you guys an idea of how the tools work for those who have never seen it before. And I wanna show you guys that really, like I said, anyone who is on this call right now who is attending and watching this, you guys can definitely make Roblox games 100%. And the people you know here can teach you how. Uh, first, you have to make it easy. Then when you go level wise, it should be harder. Yeah, exactly. So you're like, all right. And that's something that sometimes people don't understand. You're like, you're just putting shapes down. It's like, well, you have to make a lot of decisions. Um, you have to think about the user, just like any other app or game that you're making. 
You have to think about like, is this too hard? Is this too easy? And you have to think about, are they having fun? We said earlier, we want people to come and have fun in our worlds. So if I make this, this really, really hard, what's going to happen? No one's going to have fun. No one's going to have fun. No one's going to play. Um, so really good designers. It doesn't matter if you're making a game or if you're making a beautiful 3D space or if you're recreating history or teaching them. You have to make sure that, you know, you don't start off too hard because then you get really, really frustrated and you just, you know, you don't keep going. You know, you don't think like, oh, I want to play this. You just move you on to something start from else. easy and then uh, gradually uh, grow the difficulty level. So I can pick out if I want to use water or dunes or canyons and I can generate that. You can see, like, I love watching the world come in. So this is a 3D generated world. All my parts just got covered up, but that's not a big deal. I'm going to move them. As soon as they're done, I'll move them. I can delete it if I want, or I can decide I liked it. A lot of times what I'll do if I'm working with a world is I'll start on something like this, and then I'll start making changes to it. So I can work with the, um, the tools like the edit button. It's kind of small. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna use, I can use the paint button. And then that actually gives me choices as to like how I want this world to look. So if I want this to be snowy, I can cover it all in snow. I can cover the mountains in snow. If I want there to be water, I can pick the water button. And now I have water. I can add terrain. I can make new mountains if I want to. So I've got new hills and I can test this out too my world. So now I can go swimming in it. And I have a brand new world.